Okay, let's do question uh, 12 to 19 here. Here's question 12. Um, what you do, I put this as 4 to the first power next to the half, divided by, now this minus half is actually acting on, it's a power that goes on the product, both 4 and x, and it's good to split it up like that. Because there's two different bases here. There's 4 and there's x, and they're both put to the minus half power. Now, if we write down the base of 4, well, I'm, and I changed it to 2 squared to make the next part easy, but you say if you have a 4 and a 4, we'd write down the 4, we go a half minus minus a half is a half plus a half. Uh, sorry, e, you silly mutt. We're looking at the 4, so look at the 4. 1, because we're dividing, we minus a half. Well, 1 minus minus a half, 1 plus a half, is 3 over 2, 3 halves. I changed that base of 4 to 2 squared because it makes the next part easier. x to the half divided by x to the minus half, because you're dividing two things with the same base, you subtract the exponents. A half minus minus a half is a half plus a half, so it's x to the 1. Now this is so nice, 2 squared times 3 over 2, the 2's cancel, you get 2 cubed. This whole thing is just going to be 8x, and there you go. Let's try question 14. If you go 0.04 in your calculator, you might know that it's 4 over 100, but it'll tell you right away that it's 1 over 25. And 25 is really 5 squared. And 1 over 5 squared is 5 to the minus 2. Now, if you put a power to a power, just go minus 2 times minus a half, it's positive 1. So 5 to the positive 1, that's your answer. Let's try 15. If you put 0 0.0625 in your calculator and press equals, it tells you it's 1 over 16, which is 2 to the 4th. Now, if you have 1 over 2 to the 4th and you put it to this power, you multiply the powers. 4 times a quarter is 1, but it's negative. 1 over 2 to the minus 1. Well, that 2 to the minus 1 really means a half, but a half in the bottom of a fraction, you tip in times and it becomes 2. There's a shortcut. If you have a negative exponent, you can just flip it to the top and make it positive, 2 to the 1. There's 15. Let's just do um, 17 here. We've got 81. If you go 81 equals and then shift factor it, it'll tell you that it's 3 to the 4th power. So that's 3 to the 4x. <clears throat> 9 is 3 squared. But when you put this 2 to this power, remember you multiply it by both things. 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times minus 2 is minus, minus 1 is minus 2. Now, when you divide two things at the same base, you subtract 4x minus 4x. Well, that's nothing. The x's are gone. But then you have nothing else here. Minus minus 2, it turns into 3 squared. Turns into when you subtract negative 2, because you're dividing, you subtract the exponent, becomes positive 2, and 3 squared is 9. And the last question here, 19, 6 is really 2 times 3, and 9 is really 3 squared. It's good to put things into prime factors, and this 2y is sitting on both of these things here. It's an 2 to the 2y, 3 is the 2y. Divided by 3 to the 2y, oh, 3 to the 2y divided by, that's anything divided by itself is 1. So you're just left with 3 to the 2y. You subtract these exponents and they get 3 to the 0, which is 1. It just cancels. And there's your answer.